step back into the folk music scene of the 1930s with Bound for Glory, the 1976 biographical film capturing the life and times of Woody Guthrie, the iconic singer-songwriter. While this cinematic portrayal earned critical acclaim for its authenticity, and David Carradine's portrayal of Guthrie, lesser known facts abound about the movie's creation. Did you know that the director, Hal Ashby, used innovative techniques to recreate historical settings, contributing to the film's immersive feel? Now, when it comes to impactful scenes, the depiction of Guthrie's journey as a musician and activist resonates deeply. One particular moment, Guthrie's passionate performance of This Land is Your Land stands out for its poignant portrayal of American resilience and unity. Do you have a cherished memory tied to Bound for Glory? Whether it's a connection to the era it portrays or a personal resonance with Guthrie's music, we'd love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. In 1976, the movie Bound for Glory stood out among the Best Picture Oscar nominees for multiple reasons. One notable distinction was its nominations for Best Original Song Score or Adaptation Score and Best Costume Design. This recognition highlighted the film's musical elements and attention to visual detail. However, behind its success lay an interesting casting choice. Richard Dreyfuss had been offered the role of Woody Guthrie, but negotiations fell through due to salary disagreements. Additionally, Chris Christopherson declined the lead role, citing concerns about his physical suitability to portray Guthrie. These casting decisions shaped the path of the film and influenced its eventual portrayal. The movie's nominations and casting choices provide insights into the complexities of production and the impact of casting decisions on cinematic outcomes. The 1976 movie Bound for Glory, while depicting Woody Guthrie's life, weaves a tale where nearly all characters are fictional, apart from Woody and his wife, Mary. This departure from historical accuracy adds a unique layer to the film's storytelling, giving creative freedom while staying rooted in Guthrie's essence. The portrayal of Tanny Guthrie, a minor character, may mislead, which is not related to Woody. Another milestone for the movie was its innovative use of the long Steadicam tracking shot, a groundbreaking technique by Garrett Brown, revolutionizing cinematography under D.P. Haskell Wexler's guidance. This blend of fictional narrative and technical innovation defines the cinematic journey of Bound for Glory, capturing Guthrie's spirit through a distinctive lens. The pivotal Steadicam sequence in the 1976 movie Bound for Glory showcased David Carradine's portrayal of Woody Guthrie amidst a migrant camp. Garrett Brown, the Steadicam operator, descended into the scene on a Chapman crane, capturing Guthrie's walk past 900 extras. Despite its apparent simplicity on film, this sequence posed a challenge. As Brown stepped off the crane platform with his weighty armature, Grips had to counterbalance the crane arm instantly to avoid mishaps. This sequence, while visually striking, revealed the technical intricacies behind its execution. The coordination between the operator and the crew was paramount to achieve the seamless shot seen on screen. Moreover, this innovative use of the Steadicam marked a significant milestone in cinematography, setting a precedent for future film techniques. Additionally, the film featured three actors M. Emmett Walsh, Brian James, and James Hong who made appearances, and later reunited in the iconic movie Blade Runner released in 1982. These behind-the-scenes details and the convergence of talent shed light on the technical prowess and the interconnectedness within the film industry, further enhancing the legacy of Bound for Glory. The 1976 movie Bound for Glory was notably absent from the American Film Institute's Top 100 Greatest American Movies lists in 1998 and the 10th Anniversary Edition. Despite being among the Best Picture Oscar nominees alongside heavyweights like Rocky, Taxi Driver, Network, and All the President's Men, it didn't secure a spot in those prestigious rankings. Its competition enjoyed a place in cinematic history, while Bound for Glory took a different trajectory, standing out as the outlier among acclaimed films of its time. Its absence from these lists underscores its unique position in film history, separate from the recognized classics of that era. Melinda Dillon's emotional connection to her role in the film Bound for Glory was profound. Cast as Woody Guthrie's wife, Mary, her dedication to the character left her saddened when her scenes wrapped. 
Director Hal Ashby, sensing her attachment, expanded her involvement by casting her as Memphis Sue, offering Dylan a more substantial role to immerse herself in. This decision not only showcased Dylan's commitment to her craft, but also highlighted the director's sensitivity to his actor's emotions, enhancing the film's depth through their collaboration. Hal Ashby's Bound for Glory stood as the sole Best Picture Oscar nominee in 1976 without a nod in any acting categories. While its contemporaries boasted supporting acting nominees, this film broke the pattern. Interestingly, Ashby had approached Jack Nicholson for the lead role initially, but Nicholson declined, suggesting Bob Dylan as a better fit for Woody Guthrie's character. This curious casting decision shaped the film's trajectory. Moreover, Woody Guthrie, an uncredited music consultant on The Grapes of Wrath, starred David Carradine's father, John Carradine, in a pivotal role. This familial connection to Guthrie adds an intriguing layer to the film's backstory, tying together cinematic legacies. These lesser-known facts offer a glimpse into the intricacies of casting choices and the intertwined histories that influence filmmaking, illustrating the unique nuances of Bound for Glory. David Carradine, portraying Woody Guthrie in the 1976 movie Bound for Glory, resided with Barbara Hershey, then using the name Barbara Siegel, in South Haven, Kansas. Their presence, alongside musicians and film crew, stirred controversy among the conservative locals. Carradine and others frequented a local diner, causing a buzz along the town's main highway. This real-life backdrop reflects an intriguing contrast to the film's narrative offering a glimpse into the personal lives of those involved in creating the cinematic portrayal of Guthrie. The intersection of reality and fiction adds a layer of complexity to the movie's production, showcasing the impact of the actors' lives on the communities where they filmed. The tensions between the conservative town atmosphere and the presence of counterculture figures underscore the broader cultural context surrounding Bound for Glory's creation, hinting at the intricacies beyond the film set itself. Dustin Hoffman was considered for the role of Woody Guthrie but asked for extensive preparation time, including three months of rest and three months to learn guitar. The producers didn't agree to these terms. Robert De Niro was also approached for the role, but he wasn't available. Interestingly, singer Tim Buckley was cast as Guthrie but tragically passed away before filming began. These casting anecdotes reveal the intricate process of selecting the right actor for a pivotal role in the film, showcasing the challenges faced in bringing Woody Guthrie's character to life on screen. As we wrap up this journey through the cinematic marvel that is bound for glory, take a moment to cherish the echoes of this compelling tale that resonate within you. Perhaps it's the raw passion of the characters, the evocative cinematography, or the haunting melodies that have etched themselves into the canvas of your memories. Whatever it may be, this film invites introspection and connection. Let the chords of Woody Guthrie's story linger, sparking conversations and reflections on the human spirit, artistry, and the pursuit of dreams against all odds. Share your thoughts, your favorite scenes, or the emotions that stirred within you as the narrative unfolded. Each perception is a brush stroke, painting a richer, more vibrant portrait of this timeless masterpiece. Thank you for joining in this exploration of Bound for Glory, for embracing its depth, and for allowing its essence to touch your soul. Your unique perspective adds a radiant hue to the collective mosaic of experiences woven by this cinematic gem. Grateful for your time and resonance.